Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Camilo Castellanos from Los Andes University in Bogota, Colombia. I'm going to present our work titled Accordant, a Domain-Specific Model and DevOps Approach for V-Data Analytics Architectures. This work was developed with Carlos Varela and Dario Correal, and this paper was recently published in the System and Software Journal. Let's start with the context. In a V-Data Analytics VDA lifecycle, we have three main knowledge domains. In the first one, the business user has to define what is the business goal of, of the VDA project. For example, to, to use a real example, increase the customer retention. And additionally, the business user with the solutions architecture has to define what is the quality scenario to, uh, to achieve using this solution. For example, the response time has to be lower than two seconds. In the second domain, in the analytics of the data lab, the data scientist has to understand the data, so basically the, the, the user historical data regarding the calls and the use of the, of the data services, and then has to prepare the data, transform and build the models in order to choose what is the best model to predict the, the customer churn. To do that, the data scientist select, for example, a, a model, a decision tree model, but uh, the data scientist use the traditional tools in the data lab, for example, the scikit-learn or the R uh, language in order to build at the end code to be deployed in a productive environment. In the last domain, the IT or the solutions architect has to take into account reference architecture, pattern, tactics, and other uh, architectural mechanisms to achieve the expected uh, quality scenario. So the, the IT architect has to translate or to rewrite the code in this step in order to publish or to deploy this model in a productive environment regarding the architectural decisions. So for example, to translate scikit-learn program to a Spark ML leaf uh, program. Then and with the solutions running in productions, we have to validate in the real if you are achieving the expected quality scenario using a monitoring of the metrics that you are uh, evaluating. This step of from the data lab to the productive environment, we found a problem called the deployment gap. So, the deployment gap phenomenon was coined by Shane Kasman and Mathis in 2015. So, basically, they find that the, despite the increasing interest in VDA adoption, actual deployment are still scarce. In addition, uh, in previous uh, surveys and studies, we identified that the half of the companies don't have a specific data science production procedure. Also, we have a delayed deployment of ready-to-use models uh, ranging from 31% months or 30% years to be deployed to, to deploy these models. We all we also found incompatibility across multiple tools and communication problems regarding the different concerns and vocabularies from the different knowledge domain that we presented in the last in the previous slide. Additionally, it's not yet clear how to define and monitor quality of service in VDA applications. So the problem that we want to address in this research is the VDA solution deployments present a high cost and error prone transitions between the data lab, the development environment, to the production environment. As a proposal for this problem, we present Accordant. To address this problem, we propose Accordant an executable architectural model for Vireira Analytics, which is composed by a strategy using domain-specific modeling and DevOps and a design method, a set of steps to define the architectural drivers, the functional and deployment views, and then generate the code to have a running application in a productive environment. Now, we are going to detail both the strategy and the design method of Accordant. We are going to start with the, with the strategy. 
On the one hand, we have the PMML meta model, which is a external meta model that describes the analytics model in a um, neutral technology way. On the other hand, we have the accordant meta model. So basically, we have the package to describe architectural drivers. Then the functional viewpoint, which import the PMML models to assign the analytics component behavior. And also the functional viewpoint imports architectural drivers to define what is the quality of scenarios associated to components and connectors. And the deployment viewpoint uh, is a kind of deployment diagram. Basically, you define the computer nodes and the software uh, archi uh, artifacts deployed in that uh, infrastructure. Uh, these uh, meta models are described in the following slides. Here we have uh, the detail of the architectural inputs uh, meta model. In this meta model, you have the quality scenarios in which you define what is the stimulus, the environment, and the metric to measure what is the specific metric that you expect to achieve in this scenario, for example, response times. And then you have the sensitivity points, is basically an architectural decisions to achieve that uh, quality scenario applying a specific tactic. Also in the functional viewpoint is basically uh, a model, uh, a connector component model. So for this reason you have the two main classes, meta classes, the component which could be uh, specialized in this in sinks to ingest data, in, uh, sorry to export data, ingestor to collect data and the analytics components that uh, could be specialized on transforming an estimator but transforming an estimator has defined a PMML uh, file in order to specify their behavior. In the case of the connectors uh, basically the idea was to define or to use the taxonomy uh, proposed by Taylor and Medvedovich. As you can see components and connector can be associated with sensitivity points in order to define what is the quality scenario that this component or connector has to achieve in the production environment. Finally, in the deployment viewpoint, in this meta model, you can define what is, a, uh, what is the deployment strategy, the pods and execution environment. This meta model is based on the concepts uh, from containers such as uh, for containers manager such as Kubernetes. And also you define what is the artifact that you expect to deploy or that you want to deploy in an execution environment. These artifacts are associated from the functional uh, viewpoint meta model to connectors and components. Now the second element is the design method of Accordan. So the idea is to describe with the design method the set of steps that uh, the stakeholders have to perform in using the framework in order to deploy an um, analytics uh, solution. Now the Accordant Meta model is composed by seven steps. Initially, the business user defined the quality scenarios using uh, the DSLs presented before. The data scientist uh, design, uh, build, and uh, evaluate the analytics model to then generate the PMML files to be important in the accordant meta model when the architect in parallel design the functional and the deployment viewpoints. Once you have integrated the models, the functional viewpoint, drivers, and deployment viewpoint, uh, you can validate this model and generate code. We generate two kinds of code. Functional code which uh, describe the functional behavior of the application and infrastructure as code to implement or to provision the technology infrastructure using Kubernetes. Once the code is generated, you can, gener you can execute that code to have a BDA solution running in production and because you have the mappings between quality scenarios and code, you can monitor the solution in the production environment and compare it with expected quality scenarios. Now uh, we are going to present. Now to validate Accordan, we define four use cases. The first one is related to transport delay prediction. The second one, uh, near middle collisions risk analysis. 
the third one uh, the near middle collision detection and uh, the last one is the uh, El Nino phenomenon so basically each one has a specific analytics model processing model and QS metrics to show how our proposal can be used in different contexts so the idea is the four use cases were developed by two teams two development teams to measure development and deployment time and game factor game factor was a metric defined by us in order to measure how in each iteration you can reduce the time of development and deployment using the different proposals to compare according we uh, use spring cloud data flow formerly known as SpringSD, model ops formerly known as a fast core and the two development teams develop the four use cases using the three tools or frameworks spring cloud data flow model up and accordant and we capture the time is invested in each as a result we have hit the development and deployment time for each use case and for each uh, framework so as you can see in the left hand in terms of the development time accordant requires more time because you need to model in a important level of detail the components connector quality scenarios deployment environments so this initial definition is uh, you require more time to do that compared to the other uh, approaches but this initial investment in the development time in the definition of the model is there awarded when you start to deploy multiple times the same solution when you for example need to test different configuration in the functional or deployment viewpoint so uh, for example here you can see that accordant requires less time in the deployment time compared to SpringXD and FastCore regarding the game factor you can see that accordant shown a better performance compared to SpringXD and FastCore and the main reason for that is that you can reuse the definitions made on accordant when you define the functional viewpoint for example and you only have to change different version of the deployment time for example to make a vertical scaling or horizontal scaling so you can uh, gain time because you only define one time some sol some uh, version of the architecture and then you can make some iteration over that without rewriting or refactoring the code Now uh, we conclude that we can define a design B-Data Analytics architecture driven by quality scenarios, but also we can validate this quality this architecture using the quality scenarios specification. We also compare the development and deployment effort of our proposal compared to other two uh, frameworks, and the difference of the investment in the initial uh, development and the future. Uh, uh, iteration using the game factor metric we also conclude that accordant is most suitable for applications that involves multiple iterations because the initial investment could be then awarded uh, uh, reusing the previous definitions coming back to the contributions uh, we define a, DS, a domain specific modeling framework to formalize and accelerate B data analytics deployments we propose three integrated DSL for each uh, knowledge domain. We also present a containerization approach to promote the rapid deployment and monitoring. And finally, we present an evaluation and experimentation of our proposal in four use cases from different contexts. Okay, I am finishing this presentation. So the Q&A session is open and thanks for your attention.